All right, guys, as promised, I'm going to be doing a temperature and acoustics comparison between the reference GeForce GTX 560 Ti and the ASUS Direct CU2 GeForce GTX 560 Ti. And since uh, I had so many requests to also include it, I will be including the MSI GTX 560 Ti Twin Frozer 2 version of this graphics card. So this will be a three-way roundup. I'm going to be using Furmark. Yes, I know. It is not a perfect temperature and load testing application for GeForce cards because they will all throttle down when running Furmark. It is a software patch that NVIDIA has implemented to keep users from burning out their cards. However, since we're comparing three like GPUs, they're all GeForce GTX 560 Ti's, my theory is that they'll all ramp down equally. So we will at least be able to compare these three cards against each other, both in terms of load temperatures, as well as in terms of noise. So for our stock reference cooled card, we're looking at a load temps of about, well not about, exactly 75 degrees Celsius once it levels out. Since our room temperature is about 24 degrees Celsius, we're going to round that up. That means we have a delta of 51 degrees Celsius. So I'll do all the audio clips uh, at the end, but uh, just to show you guys how loud they are. But the stock fan actually doesn't ramp up very high in terms of the overall fan speed, so it remains fairly quiet. Now the DirectCU2 is significantly louder than the stock fan, but I think a big part of that is because the fan ramps right up to about 2400 RPM. But the good news is that with its hybrid of like a straight heat sink and then you see those heat pipes coming out there and then like a fin heat pipe design where the one fan is blowing at the heat sink and the other fan is blowing at the heat pipe fins they actually achieve significantly better temperatures than the stock cooler so at 61 degrees in a 24 degree room that is a delta of only 37 degrees compared to the stock cooler which is significantly better all right, so our room is closer to about the almost 27, so we'll call it uh, 26 degrees in our room right now. It's gotten warm from doing uh, from running Furmark on these video cards. It's not a very large office that I have, as you can plainly see. All right, so with the Twin Frozer 2, we're looking at low temperatures of 50. Oh, okay, we'll look over here. Low temperatures of 57 degrees. Focus, focus. There we go. 57 degrees. So when we take our room temp... Really? Wow, it's going up really fast now. So 27 degrees. I will call it... Call it 26, because that's what it was before. Okay, so 57 minus 26 gives us a 31 degree delta. There it is. Yeah, 26. It's just air currents in the room right now. So you guys got to understand that all of these results are only going to be accurate to within a couple degrees delta because it's not a super controlled environment. You can see my temp probe is uh, generally positioned at the intake of the fans. So yeah, pretty much they're, they're fairly equivalent. I'd say in, subjectively the noise from the Twin Frozer 2 is pretty similar to the noise from the Direct CU2, but I'll leave that for you guys to judge with the audio samples at the end. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.